afternoon. Today is Sunday, October 13th, 2013, and we're looking at a beautiful view from uh, Las Cordilleras here in Retiro, Antioquia. It's been raining quite a bit lately, and as you can see, grass is growing between the avocado trees. And of course, they're gonna compete for nutrients. And as a result, the grass needs to be cut. The traditional way to do it is weed whacker and employ workers and uh, spend a lot of money on gasoline. There's another method, which is obviously really bad for the soil, which is using uh, herbicide. Uh, you don't wanna do that because you'll kill much of the very important bacteria that resides in the soil. So what I decided to do is something quite different. I decided to hire 13 young workers. These young workers are unique because these workers will reproduce. And these workers are, are very cute actually. So let me go ahead and introduce to you uh, the new project because what we have here, and as we approach it, this is called a rabbit tractor. It's an idea that I brought from the States. It's basically um, a movable cage that has um, rabbits in it. <laughs> right now we have a total of 13. We have three males uh, and 10 females. And as soon as we put them in, actually I put them in just five minutes ago, uh, they started working. And what they do is they eat the grass. They urinate and rabbit urine is really, really powerful as a, an insect repellent and also a pesticide. They defecate, in other words, they poop. And well, it's one of those uh, type of manures that you actually can put on, um, on, on plants directly at, at the root without having to compost. It's one of those few that is not as dangerous. Uh, you know, if you take live horse manure or cow manure, it can burn the roots of um, whatever it is you're trying to plant. And in addition, um, well, they cut the grass. So. We will be moving these cages. This is our first prototype. Luis Fernando and I uh, actually built this one yesterday. The idea is that it has a nest there, a little ramp. They're protected from the heat with the black um, plastic that's on top of the actual uh, uh, greenhouse plastic. Um, they're protected from the water. You're also protected from the humidity because they walk up that little ramp that we see here. And uh, as a result, they're able to uh, be nice and cozy. Uh, the weather here is fine. And look at these, huh? They're just working away. We have uh, the large, uh, the white one is, uh, it's a breed from New Zealand. Uh, they grow to be rather large. Then we have two browns. Those are Creole. And then we have a, a one that's mixed. And so here we have Max, who's been very curious about the whole project. And pebbles there also, you know, wanting to investigate a little bit. So, um, yeah, uh, we will usually, well, the idea is to have maybe a total of between 50, no, 30 to 50 cages. Um, so uh, we can actually uh, have an impact on so much grass that it grows. Obviously, this will be another business. Um, and we will have something else. They are similar to this, it's, but it's not with chicken. It's called a chicken tractor. And those help me with uh, the insects because chickens will feed on everything that moves from worms to bugs to all sorts of insects. So it, it reduces, it's a natural way to reduce the amount of insects um, and uh, also to produce egg and chickens. So those are coming up soon. So yeah, when I started here at the farm, it wasn't just a matter of coming here to move out to the countryside because I love the scenery, which I do, but it was also because I am a farmer at heart. Anybody who's read my book knows it. All right, as always, from Las Cordilleras in Retiro, Antioquia, well, Max and I bid you goodbye.